So now that you've got your head around dissonance theory, let's talk about a couple of final studies to reinforce the ideas underlying the theory. The first study I want to focus on is one by Phil Zimbardo and his colleagues from 1965. This study is sometimes called the grasshopper study. You'll see why in a second. In this study, participants, some of whom are army recruits, were asked to indicate their attitudes towards eating a wide variety of different foods on a survey. One of these just so happened to be fried grasshoppers. After the survey was completed, the experimenter asked the participants if they'd be willing to eat a fried grasshopper. Now it's worth knowing that these were from a tin and were unappealing, as they were slimy and disgusting. The experimenter was either treating his assistant nicely or meanly, telling him off for minor mistakes in bantering him. Finally, the experimenter asked the people who actually ate a fried grasshopper how much they enjoyed their little snack. Now, I can tell you that about half of the recruits agreed to eat a fried grasshopper. Of these participants, who do you think said they enjoyed eating the grasshopper the most? Was it the people who were asked by the nice experimenter? Or was it the people who were asked by the mean experimenter? Let's take a look. So again, on the y-axis, we have the amount of attitude change, and on the x-axis, we have the two conditions, whether the experimenter was nice or mean to his assistant. Well, the people who were asked by the nice experimenter to eat the fried grasshopper didn't change their attitudes about eating fried grasshoppers at all, really. It turns out that participants asked by the mean experimenter were the ones who ended up having the most positive attitudes about eating fried grasshoppers. Is that what you're expecting? The reason for this is that because the NICE experimenter is like the $20 condition in the Festinger and Carl Smith study we talked about before. It's consistent for us to do things for people we like. The mean experimenter is like the $1 condition in that other study. It's not consistent for us to do things for people we don't like. So the participants who ate the fried grasshopper after being asked to do so by the mean experimenter were experiencing more dissonance. And the way that they resolved that was by changing their attitudes about eating fried grasshoppers. Their attitudes became more positive and they liked their snack the most.